Hi guys, it's Cindy here from Hooked on Crafts and today we're going to be showing you how to make a simple dishcloth. You're going to need a few things. First, you're going to need one ball of 100% cotton yarn. Um, I'm using sugar and cream here, but you can use any type you like. Um, next, you're going to need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and a size H hook. First thing we're going to do is make a slip knot. Now I'm a self-taught crocheter, so this is how I make mine. Um, there's lots of ways to make a slip knot. You can use whatever you feel comfortable with. This is just how I learned and this is what I use. First thing we're going to do, we are going to chain 33. To do this, you're going to yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop. That's three, four, five all the way up until stitch 33. Then you're going to put your needle, you're going to single chain into the third stitch from the hook. So to do this you're going to stick your needle in through the top layer, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through both loops. Next you're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. To do this you're going to yarn over, go in through the top part of the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. You're going to continue this pattern all the way down the chain. So single crochet, and half double crochet. This one takes a little bit to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's one of my favorite stitches to use. So again, you're going to continue this all the way down the stitch, just alternating single crochet, half double crochet. Single crochet, half double crochet. I love to use the half double crochet because it makes your work not as holy as a double crochet, but it makes it go much faster than just single crocheting all the way down. So I tend to use this half double crochet a lot in my work. And you're just going to continue that all the way till you get to the very end stitch. You should be single chaining into the very last stitch. And it's a little tough to get in that one, but you're going to single crochet in there and then chain two. Then you're going to flip your work over and go back down the back side. Again, you're going to notice there are a couple different stitches here. There's a smaller stitch and a bigger stitch. You're going to single crochet into the smaller stitch and half double crochet into the larger stitch. So to single crochet in, you're going to go through both loops this time. Now that we're on the second row, it'll be much easier. So you're going to put your needle in there and yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and then half double crochet into the next stitch and single crochet and again you're going to continue this pattern all the way down to the very end of this row. As you get to the end of the row this is sometimes where a beginner may have a little bit of trouble. Remember I said you wanted to single crochet into the very last stitch of each row. Now, when you get towards the end, you're going to half double crochet and then you're going to think you're finished when in reality you really need to do one more stitch and single crochet. Then you're going to chain two, turn your work over, and go back down the back side. I'm going to give you a little better look here of the different stitches. It's a sing the smaller one and the bigger one. You're going to single crochet into the smaller one and half double crochet into the larger hole. 
you're going to go through both stitches on every other row except for the first one. And you're just going to continue on until you get to row 32. As you get to row 33, you could finish off your stitches and call it done. I, however, like to make a border all the way around my dishcloth. So that's what I'm going to do next. Um, to do that, when, once you get to the very last stitch, you're going to make three single crochets into the corner stitch. This is going to help it turn the corner later. And then you're going to single crochet all the way down the edge. Now, the top and bottom is going to be very easy. On the sides, however, there's no really clear stitch, so you're just going to have to try to keep your stitches as even as possible all the way down the side. And then when you get to the next corner, you're going to make three single crochets again. Okay, here I am getting to the very end corner, and again, you're going to make three single crochets into that same stitch in the corner, and that's going to help it go around the corner. And then you're going to single crochet all the way across the next stitch, and three single crochets into the next corner until you get back to where you start. Here is what your corner should look like once you get around the corner. And then you're just going to single crochet all the way around the edges until you get to the very end. You're going to slip stitch into the first stitch and then you're going to tuck in your tails. This is how I like to tuck in my tails. You're going to thread your needle and then you're going to make three passes going different ways. You're going to kind of just tuck your needle in behind the stitches just to hide the yarn so nobody will be able to tell once you're finished. And it takes a little bit of work, and I'm not the fastest crocheter. I just do this for fun. It's not how I earn my living or anything. So then you're going to thread it back through the other way. And then I like to make one more pass, and this is going to ensure that the yarn doesn't come loose um, when somebody washes their dishcloth. And once you get it all the way through, then you're going to snip it as close to your work as you can. And there you have a very simple dishcloth. Thanks for watching.